morning. Uh, I'm at the next stage of this coffee table project. Um, these are part of the base assembly for, for the top. And what I've done is I've cleaned all the surfaces up with a hand plane, um, well, the edges. And I've cut the ends to length, and the length of the curves uh, from end to end is identical on both. What I need to do now is to make sure that this assembly at the ends, because not so much down here, but at the ends is equal. So what may happen is this may be perpendicular at the base, but because of any twisting in the lamination, there may be a difference in distance between, let's say, these two ends and these two ends. And it's going to be more noticeable at this end, because the distances are greater, than noticing the angle here. You know, if this is 89 or 90 or 91, you're not going to notice. But if there's a short, much shorter distance here by a couple of, by an inch or something, it's going to be more noticeable. It's going to be uh, awkward looking to the eye. So what I've done is I've set this up as perpendicular as possible, marked center lines, and you know, uh, using the crosshairs, got that um, and clamped it in place. Now it's lightly clamped. Well, it's it's tightly clamped. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull this A, B, C, and D. And I'm going to measure. Now, normally when you're checking for square, you would measure diagonal to diagonal. Um, but it doesn't work in this case because I haven't got diagonals to measure. So what I actually have to measure is A to B, B to C, C to D, and so on. So I've just done my first set of measurements. And what I found was that A, B, and B, C, these measurements here, were shorter than these ones here. So what it tells me is that this center point needs to be moved down in this direction. And I estimate about three mil, eighth of an inch. So what I do is I loosen the clamp, and I'm gonna tap. I wanna keep things as square as possible. I'm just gonna tap here. First of all, I'm gonna make a line so I know where my starting point is. I'm gonna tap with the hammer in this direction until I see about an eighth of an inch from my line. And then I'm gonna measure again. So something like that. Clamp it up. Okay, that looks good. And then measure. So let's start with A to, well, let's start with A to B. centimeters. Um, 86. Let's write those down. So we've got 85.5, 86. And over here with this is AD. 86.5. 86.5. And this one. Let me just check again. 87. So, again, we need to increase this distance. And you know, if this distance and this distance were, if this was too larger and this was shorter, what we would do is then change the pivot angle. So we wouldn't move it in this direction. We'd move, say, this one down and this one up. So you keep uh, adjusting until you've got it right and then you mark for your half lap joint. This is going to be joined with a half lap um, and that's going to be nice and solid. So, so just to thanks show for you here. Um, on the inside here I've marked for my joint with my knife line and this is it here. That's one edge and this is the other edge and you can see my tap marks moving along as I had to move the piece out to get it uh, where I want. So this is the true center, um, but the center when you account for the twist in the laminations is about 3 sixteenths further along. And that's what I care about. As it happens, it was a movement this way, so it wasn't uh, a, a pivot. Um, so the perpendicular, it's still 90, it's just shifted further along. All right, um, so I'll cut the first half 
and then case you didn't watch the bent lamination video which was which preceded this one that when I made these bent laminations I kept a section here of about three to four inches um, a flat spot so so it's not a true curve it's not a continuous curve it's a curve then a flat spot and then another curve and the reason is that that flat section makes my joinery much more straightforward um, when I come to uh, cut for the half lap um, and of course it's not noticeable to the eye um, so that's just a little side note there.